What's going on guys? Tactical Bacon here and this is the asked for uh, video settings video I guess you could call it for uh, Arma 3. Um, right now I'm playing Wasteland or I'm in a server that's a uh, Wasteland mod. Um, I saw a fire over there earlier. I guess it went out. Um, actually maybe it was over there. Let's see. But yeah I'm gonna get into the video settings in just a second. Yeah, the fire was over there. Now it's gone. I'm going to get into the video settings here in just a second, though. And um, But the thing that I kind of wanted to tell you guys about was basically... I don't know why that happened. But basically, the, um, the thing about uh, FPS and everything, it, not, it just doesn't... It's not only dependent on your video card and your setup and everything, you know, so, I don't know, just kind of wanted to make people aware of that just in case they didn't know, because, I mean, there are some things that are kind of server-side issues, like, uh, you know, just the fact that there's a lot of people on, there's a lot of things going on, there's a lot of vehicles, there's a lot of explosions, there's a lot of fires, uh, there's a lot of this or that, ooh, somewhere central, got captured, but, um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of issues that may not be anything you can do anything about. So, you know, it's just kind of... It's really all dependent on what servers you play on, I guess you could say. Um, the servers that I normally play on, this is not one of them. Uh, I try to get a lower pop, that way I would be able to do this video setting guide without being shot in the middle of it. So, uh... But yeah, the server that we do play on, it's... It's a little, I would say maybe, I don't know, five or six frames less. I mean, I'm getting 37 right now. Uh, that's basically because I've got my FPS kind of capped by my recording software a little bit. Um, but yeah, right now, let's see. I'm getting about 41. I would say anywhere between... 38 and 41 FPS on average. Um, so let's just go ahead and get right into the video settings. Uh, sampling 100%. Actually, a lot of this kind of stuff is default. I just came in here and tweaked some of the stuff around. Uh, textures, you can just leave those on high. My video card runs everything just fine. If you guys want to uh, list of the PC specs for my gaming computer, you guys can just look in the description below. Uh, objects, I just leave those on standard. Terrain, I leave that on high. Um, some of these settings kind of affect your, well, I mean, they, they do affect your FPS. But, uh, not as bad as some of these. Oh, fuck. No. I don't want to get fucking, I don't want to get blown up. I'm trying to do a video, leave me alone! You piece of shit. Leave me alone. Leave Tacky alone. Anyways. That guy's probably gonna come back and kill me. Anyways, uh, hopefully I can get this finished. Uh, shadows, something you definitely want to leave on standard. Uh, depending on your video card, you might be able to leave them on high. Uh, some people say just go ahead and disable shadows. Me, personally, I like the look of the shadows in the game, even if I do get knocked down by a few FPS here or there. Uh, you know, I like the shadows, you know? It makes things look a little bit more realistic than they should, you know? Um, so yeah. I don't think that helicopter's gonna come kill me right now. Maybe a little later, hopefully after I'm done. Uh, particles, I'll leave those, those on low. Um... And you can change them to, like, standard. You know, your FPS doesn't really drop that bad. Uh, if you put them on high, it doesn't really drop at all. I mean, you can you can leave them on there if you want. I just like to set them on low. Uh, clouds, I like to set on low because if you set it very high, you know, your FPS kind of starts to drop a little bit. Um, let's see... See, like, right now, during the night time, the clouds may not make that much of a difference. Alright, I see it dropping down to 32. You guys aren't able to see this kind of stuff, but I'm able to see that it's dropping down to about 30... 
between 35 and 32 frames a second, so that's not too bad. But, uh, you know, we were getting an average of 38 to 41 frames just a minute ago before I did any of that. So, we're just going to go ahead and set clouds back to... Uh, I mean, it real, also, it really depends on the server. You know, if you're having issues with, uh, with FPS lag or anything like that, you can always just... God, I hope this guy really doesn't fucking see me. Um, but yeah, if, if you happen to have FPS issues, you know, just change that kind of shit. Just turn it off. Or lower it or whatever you can do. Uh, let's see. already went through all that. HDR. Uh, you can set it to low. Uh, if you set it to standard, it brings your frames down a little bit. Now, it's not bringing it down right now because, obviously, I'm not moving, so... Let's see, what does this do? Eh, it brings it down a little bit. Yeah, I would say it's it's back to, like, 32, 35 right now. So... It's coming in. Oh. No! No! Where is he? He's looking for me. There he is. Alright, anyways. Um, let's see. Alright, so yeah, this, this kind of stuff over here is just default. Uh, HDR, I like to leave that on low. Dynamic lights, I like to leave that on standard. Uh, display, this is really just basically personal preference. Or, uh, you know, depending also on what size monitor you have and all that kind of shit. V-Sync, you can disable it, you can enable it. Uh, personally, I like to leave it disabled for this game because when I, whenever I enable it, it doesn't really do too much um, when you're just standing still. But when you're driving through a city and stuff like that, it seems to have an effect. Uh, not exactly sure why, but I've noticed that, so... Uh, inter interface size, you know, that's personal preference. You can go small, medium, normal, what the fuck ever. Uh, very small. Uh, brightness and gamma, I like to leave those around, you know, just default settings. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, also, all this kind of stuff is just default right here. Um, and then, let's see, anti-aliasing. I got that set to four. I could turn it up to eight. Um, it does bring FPS down, uh, for my, uh, video recording software, which is DxTory. Uh, let's see, yeah, it's sticking around like 32, 33 frames a second, so. I mean, FPS is very important in a shooting game, so... You definitely want as much as you can. I'm just going to go ahead and set that back to 4. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'd like to just go ahead and set this up to all trees plus grass. Personal preference, really. Uh, you can set it up however you want. Or you can just go ahead and disable it. Disabling it will get you some more frames per second, but it just doesn't look all that great. Um, this, These settings... Which, you know, that kind of reminds me, these settings are, you know, for people who want decent frame, or, you know, frames good enough to play the game itself, because obviously you don't want to lag, but at the same time it's to make things look as good as they can, so just kind of keep that in mind. Um, it just really depends on your hardware, and it really depends on the server you're playing on. Sometimes, you know, you might get into a server where the lag is like, so bad that you just have to dis you know go through and disable a bunch of shit. But once you find the right server that you're comfortable playing on, I guess you could say, you know, you just go ahead and get the settings the way you need them, and you are pretty much good to go. Uh, this right here, I like to leave that on standard, and uh, filtering, I like to leave it on high. Uh, you can disable it. Disabling it really doesn't do too much to the frames. I just like to leave it on high. Um, 
obviously I don't want too much kind of shit going on at the same time. Uh, you know, like I said, it does bring your frame rate down, but I mean, you know, you can see the blades of grass and it's not all fucking choppy and shit like that. You can come up to, you can come up to little, one of these little pine trees and you can see all the pine straws, the individual pine straws and whatnot. That's kind of one of the things that I've always liked about PC gaming. I mean, I know the next gen consoles are starting to get better graphics and shit like that. And I mean, I, I know that, you know, little stuff like this right here doesn't look like much probably on the YouTube video, but it's it's definitely an improvement, you know, if you're if you're looking at the screen playing it. Jesus Christ. Go the fuck away, you son of a bitch. I would shoot at him with my pistol, but as we all know, that wouldn't do very much. Shooting a helicopter with a fucking pistol. But yeah, um you know, those are the settings, like I said, that'll just basically give you... Oh, you can kill the snakes! I've always wondered that! Alright, sweet. Can you do anything with it? I can salvage. You can... S oh, Jesus. You can salvage a snake for a hundred bucks? That's fucking pimp. Anyways, um... But yeah, those are just the basic settings uh, that I use. Um... You know, some people go for, you know, the most FPS, no matter how shitty their game looks. I'm not really the type of person that likes to do that, uh, whether I'm recording or not. I like the game to look good while I play it. Oh, this helicopter guy just will not leave me alone. Let's see. <laughs> that just... Yep. I didn't do anything. I didn't do any good. I didn't shoot at you, helicopter. I promise. I promise I didn't shoot at you. But yeah. If you if you want the game to have maximum FPS, then obviously just go ahead and go into the settings or the video settings and set everything you can to absolutely the lowest settings possible, and you will get the best FPS out of the game. I mean, that doesn't, that's not just for Arma, that's pretty much for any game. If you disable and turn everything down, you will get, you know, the best FPS you can possibly get out of the game. But, it's not gonna look all that great, and some people don't mind it, but I do, I really do, and I think that the best way to play a game is to you know, not have everything all turned up. I mean, if you can turn everything up in a game like this and still run it just fine, then by all means, go for it. You know, more power to you. Fucking go for it. But, I don't know. I mean, I kind of like having lower settings. That way I know it's going to run right, but at the same time, it's going to look good, too. So, you know, sometimes I might get a few la or a few lag issues here and there, some of my videos may not look as good, you know, it's a recording, and then it's rendered, and then it has to go through uh, YouTube's little rendering thing as it's uploading, and, you know, a lot of quality actually gets lost from what you see while you're in the game to what you guys are seeing now on the YouTube video, but, I mean, these are the settings that work for me, they may not work for everybody else, a lot of issues like I've mentioned several times, uh, hardware and what kind of server you're on but overall these are the settings that work best for me so I hope this video kind of helped you guys out in kind of coming to terms with what kind of settings you should have in your game um, I'm not really sure how much it's gonna help you guys out because you know like I said it just depends on personal preference and stuff like that you know video settings are a very subjective issue um, for the most part, they're a subjective issue. Ooh, look at that. Never found loot in here. What is this? 6.5? Fuck yeah. Maybe... Th this would... F I don't think that this gun right here would... Ooh, is this another one? <gasps> yes! Okay, maybe, maybe this gun. If I can find a scope for it. 
would be a lot better choice than the uh, <laughs> the pistol I was using on that helicopter. But, you know, it's a very, you know, video settings are a subjective kind of issue, in my personal opinion. Um, you know, sometimes people just want it to run good. Sometimes people just want it to look good. I'm in between. I like a mixture of both. So if you have generally the same setup that I kind of have, uh, and like I said, once again, the specs for my PC are going to be down in the description of this video. But if you have the same kind of, if you have the same kind of setup that I have, and you want to run the game, have it looking good, have it running good, I've just told you guys the settings, so let me know what you thought about this video, if it helped you at all. Uh, if it didn't help you at all, I do apologize. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and... Did I just hear... Did I just hear someone talk? I don't know. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you later.